Hi, welcome back to another video about edge spice. And in this video, we will talk about the parametric plot. Let's choose a laser pointer. So what is the parametric plot? Normally, if you want to investigate a diode, you would like to see the current versus the voltage on the diode. If we want to sweep the whole range of voltage on our diode, so this is like a very familiar curve we usually see. And this curve is called the parametric curve because it shows the uh, parameters, current, and the voltage of our diode. But it's not that kind of obvious for us in order to obtain the parametric plot in our LG spice. Why? Let's go to LG spice and see how could we do the parametric plot in LG spice. So this is the edge device I prepared. Now let's add our voltage and the diode. To add the voltage, press V. I mean, if you want to see how we can draw a simple circuit at edge device, please refer to my previous videos. I have all of them. Now I will just briefly doing them, and we go to our main focus, which is how to do the parametric plot. Now let's draw the diode and then uh, we need to pick a diode. Okay, let's pick this one. Manufacturer is on semi and our diode name is 1N4148. Okay, the voltage in order, I put the parametric plot again in order to have our voltage switch from the range of 0 to 2 volts. We, how can we do that? Let's choose the op advanced option and choose the pulse. We will utilize the pulse in order to create. I put the signal of the voltage that we want to create with the pulse option, like a linear voltage. From the time of 0 to 1 second, we want to have the voltage rises linearly from 0 to 2 volts. So the initial voltage will be 0. The on voltage is 2, delay time 0, rise time we have 1 second, 4 time 0. That's enough. So press OK. Now we have the voltage sweep over the whole range of 0 to 2 volts. And we have the diode and the, I mean all of those parameters of the diode is already built in LG Spice. We just have to pick it here. And now we do the simulation. Let's run. Of course, we cannot run because we haven't specified what kind of simulation we want to run with our circuit. So now let's specify. We want to run, we want to draw the parametric plot, the current versus the voltage of the diode in the time domain. So now we need to use the transient, you see, time domain simulation. Stop time, of course, one second because we have our voltage here rise from 0 to 2 within 1 second. So of course stop time is 1 second. Now that's enough. Press OK. We have a simulation. Let's measure. Let's measure the current going through our diode. So you could have the current here, but on the horizontal, the x-axis is the time. It's not our voltage. How can we obtain the IV curve in this case. So as you could move along the x-axis, you will see the symbol of the ruler. If you see the ruler, then right click, you will see this window. And in order to plot our voltage, we just have to specify our variable voltage here. However, all of the things here got blackened. It's weird, right? Let's just click OK and see the result. Error undefined symbol voltage. Mm. Because this variable is not defined in this simulation, then how could we know what is the name of our variable voltage? So let's just put it back to 10, add another plot, and then we measure our voltage here. Now you could see this is the name of our variable voltage. VN001. We remember that? Okay. 
So now move to the x-axis where you see the ruler symbol, right click and now we just have to modify the time variable to v and 001. Press OK. OK, now we have the voltage and the current plot here. We don't want to, to see this plot, we can delete it. Right click on this plot and you choose delete this plane. Now you obtain the current and the voltage plot, the parametric plot of our diode. So it's like the end of this very short video. If you want to know more in the last part of this video, I want to compare between the built-in model of this diode in LTSpice with the model we will download from the internet. So in order to do that, let's prepare another another circuit for our diode download from the internet similarly nothing different right and okay let's download our diode you open any internet browser and then you type in the name of our diode so our diode name is 1N4148 here 1N4148 spice model and of course you press OK and you would see the result where you see the on semi because our diode belongs to the manufacturer on semi so we need to choose website from on semi open the website and you choose technical document in the technical document scroll down to simulation models and here you could see vSpice download it uh, yeah in the download folder now you open it in the folder that you have downloaded it this is have the extension of dot mod so it's not like a normal file that you can just double click and open you have to have a specific text editor for example like right click and I will open it with the notepad plus plus it's really useful you can or you can even yeah notepad plus plus if you don't have the notepad plus plus please install it it's really easy you open it and you see the content of our downloaded file here so this is the content of our diode if you don't understand what is the content of a diode please prefer to my previous video about diode simulation I already explained that so now let's just copy this one go back to our edit spice now click on the spice directive and you paste it in of course this one is totally invalid in our command so modify a little to make it suitable for our command so this is the model of our diode from the manufacturer one more step this diode model has this name and it's not corresponding to our diode here as a result we have to modify this one name to the same name here so it's D1N4148 so this is again check this is the model that we used from the built-in in Antispice in and this is the model that we have downloaded from the manufacturer website now let's uh, simulate. How can we check which one is more close, right? Let's go to uh, the website of the manufacturer again. Now we go to overview and we find the data sheet. So in the data sheet, let's find the forward and forward current and forward voltage. So now here we have at least three figures specifying different range of the forward voltage versus with the forward current I will choose this range okay zoom in let's zoom in so in this range we have the forward voltage going from 450 to 750 millivolt now let's specify our voltage uh, right click on the voltage it goes from 450 millivolt, millivolt to 750 millivolt and I don't want to modify the right stem it's not 
the matter here. So one second is fine. We need to modify the same thing here in order to compare our diode. We need to set the environment for the two diodes the same so we can see the difference in their characteristics. Right click on this, you move your mouse to this text, post, right click and then you copy this one. Do the same, move your mouse to the text, post here and right click and copy and paste. Now you have the two similar voltages. Simulate, let's simulate it. And first we measure the current from the built-in anti-spice model at another plant and then we measure the diode from the manufacturer website. So you totally could see there's a difference in the range of the current here. Like, okay, let's modify the um, horizontal axis to the voltage. Now, the horizontal axis of those two plants both have the same range of voltage from 450 millivolt to 750 millivolt, but you could notify, you could easily see there's the difference in the range of our current with the current from the manufacturer website we have the range from 0 millivolt milliamp to 16 milliamp however for the diode with the built-in anti spice we have the range of the current is much larger is maximum is 30 milliamp so which one is more close let's look at our data sheet again so if the voltage is in the range that we want to simulate, then the current should have maximum just around like 10 milliampere. As you could see, the dial that we simulate from the manufacturer website is more closer to the manufacturer specification. However, it's not too close, right? This is like 16 milliampere, but in our um, Data sheet is 10 milliampere because the temperature that they do the experiment for this diode is 25 degree. We could also doing the same thing for our simulation. Let's close the simulation and add the temperature condition for our simulation by clicking on the spice directive, then dot 10, you specify 25 degree. So that's it. Let's simulate again and see whether there's any difference. This is the, our current measurement. Change it to, of course, the voltage. So now we have the parametric plot. As you could see, around 750 millivolt, our maximum current now less than 16 milliampere, and is around like 15, 40 milliampere, much closer to our specification in the website which is 10 milliampere so that's it as you could see when you simulate a diode whether you choose the diode from the edge by built-in model you need to somehow check with the specific specification of that diode from the manufacturer website to see whether the diode specified in edge spice is close enough otherwise you might obtain some simulation result which is a little bit further away from the realistic or the practical measurement of that diode in real life. And that's it. If you like my video, please give me a like or subscribe and see you in another video about Spice. Goodbye.